Okay, so I ordered this Arrow Garden Bounty Basic. Uh, it's like an aquaponic lighting system deal. Gardening system indoor. <laughs> Let me see. Okay, I can open the box. But anyway, oh, I saw this on Amazon and I was really interested in it. So, we're opening the box. Get ready to enjoy is what it says. Excuse me. Get ready to enjoy. So, taking it out of the box, we have the Arrow Garden Seed Pod Kit for Gourmet Herbs. Um, the Arrow Garden Bounty Basic pa Power Adapter, so that's my cord. Lots of reading material, start guide, uh, ingredients or recipes, I assume. So let's take this out and uh, see what we have. Uh, this looks like the light. Eh. Okay, so this looks like the light because the aquaponic system, and I'll put the link down in the description. But it's like, it makes it impossible to kill plants. This is a something. And I don't know what it is. It makes it impossible to kill the plants. So it's great if you don't have a green thumb, like me. Um, but it's a watering system because it's all water. It's aquaponics, of course. So it has a timer. You can set things going vacation and whatnot. Um, the light will kind of come on and come on as you set it. I think it goes up to increase the height, and I can't remember how high, um, so let me get rid of this box. So, I don't know. I want to say 7 inches, but it might be higher than that. Woo, y'all. I am stretched. But, I had a little mommy break. And you never know what you want to do with your mommy break. I don't know if you want to nap or clean or declutter because I am, I nest in patches here. <laughs> so I'm like, as I'm cleaning my kitchen, I wanted to just take this out and at least look at it. I'm taking stuff out of this bag here. I really just want to see all the parts, put all the plastic in the box. But don't throw it away in case, you know. We need to send something back. So this is the base of it. You can see where the pods go in here. It looks like four, eight, nine uh, pods. It says it right here. Nine pod kit, which is awesome. It comes with the herbs. I guess we'll find out because I have my eye on. Okay, here they are. I had my eye on which ones I wanted. I did order also, also order some more plants. But I'm waiting on those to come. But this comes with the seeds, the herbs, chives, thyme, curly parsley, dill, mint, and then you have basil. Uh, looks like Genovese and Thai basil, and then you have Italian parsley in here as well. So we'll start with this. I definitely want some like rosemary and peppermint or rosemary mint things like that. So I ordered those. Um, but in the kit, you get the nine preceded pods that you can fit into the little deals, nine grow domes, um, the plant food, and then you have a quick start guide. So this looks awesome. Um, let me, okay, this lifts up. Let me take off this thing, put it in the box. Um, you have tape here. Just kind of holding the little pod piece same thing on the other side so i'm just kind of going to get rid of all of this all the reviews said it was pretty user friendly and you know all these lovely things so let's see because i definitely like my greenery indoors um it's december so you know can't really be outside oops look at me can't really be outside this looks like where you feel. I see a little feel to here um, thing right here. You can't really see it, but that looks like where you fill the thing up. 
has a little groove for the cord, the power cord or whatever. But anyway, let's look at this quick start guide. So it's just kind of showing you. You have the LED grow light. You have your light post, which I assume is what this is. You have your grow deck, which is where I showed you the pods, your bowl, and your base. So, um, no tools required, my kind of product. Simple steps to get your arrow grow garden or arrow garden up and growing. Okay, so we're gonna insert the post into the base, making sure it faces the front and until the line is level with the base. So being pregnant, I have to read things twice. It's like a little USB um, reader, you know, USB thing on the end of it. So insert post into base making sure it faces the front and until the line is level with the base uh i'm assuming okay this there's a line on it can you see that my hand is on it uh so okay let me lift this up you can kind of see right here there's that's a little thing that you're going to insert it into if you look inside of it you'll see like a little usb where the usb goes so i'm assuming this front line uh what wait a minute because there's a usb on both ends so one side is narrow, the other side is a lot wider. Um, I honestly don't know. Uh, it's a simple setup and here I am. Um, which way it's supposed to go in. I mean, it's a pretty, okay, so the wide side doesn't, the wide side does fit in there. So I'm assuming that it's the wide side down because the, the insert fits perfectly. For that and if not I'm sure I will find out very soon so I did hear it click now you want to insert hood into post until the mark line is covered by the LED grow light so inside this is the hood inside of here is the other USB deal so um, obviously I have this sideways and I'm gonna need to turn this because you don't want your grow light facing this way when the pods are over here. So let's see. Okay, just pulled that out. See, that's the thing. Because the USB on this side is sideways. Like, I mean, the thing is, you know, that way. So, I don't know. Let's just see. I'm not second guess myself here. Wait, what? Insert the hood. Into post until mark line is covered by the LED light. So we want to cover this. All right, it is sideways it's the same way. Pregnancy brain, y'all. It's real. Okay. So insert until we cover that line, which is covered. Plug pump and power cord into the base. What is this? I guess we're about to find out soon. Let me not get ahead of myself. Where the heck did this come from? Hope I didn't miss anything. I guess I'll find it as I go. Um, because I surely don't know. Anyway, plug the power cord in. All right, let's get the, the pump and the power cord. Plug pump and power cord in today. So the we have the power cord, the pump cord, which is here. Like I said, there's a little groove for it. It's already plugged into the base. Plugged into the base when I took it out of the box. That's already plugged in right there. So I'm just gonna plug in the power cord. Let me get this untangled. Um, uh, yep. Yeah. All these bread ties, and I feel like okay, it's taking forever. I don't know if this is where it's gonna sit, but for the sake of recording. Uh, this is where I'm putting it for now. So, plug that in the wall. And then the plug is on the back of the base, going on the side of it. So, let's plug that in. It beeped. Let me turn it back around so we can see this together. All right. So, let me pick it up. It says, Arrow Garden, welcome, touch quick plant to start. Okay, so let me see if I can bring you down here. 
I don't know how well you can see. Maybe if I can zoom a little bit. Nope, can't zoom. Okay, so it says, touch quick plant to start. Wait a minute. Let me read the book first. Plug gardens power cord into electric outlet. Touch the quick plant button, then follow on screen instructions. Okay, I just want to make sure. So quick plant is right next to the on off button. Quick plant guides you through planting your arrow garden. Use this whenever you start in a new garden. Oh, okay. Uh, press okay. Update your time. Touch okay button to set and advance. All right, let me see what time it is. It's 5.07 p.m. So just press the arrows over. So I have five. Press okay, 07. Press okay, change that to p.m press okay and okay again um select the garden type you are planting use the looks like chevron arrows i don't know side by side arrows to move through options and use okay to pick your best fit all right okay so we're gonna do the herbs that it came with of course you don't have to plant what this you know starter kit comes with you can plant plants or you know other things i'm gonna go over just so we can see so we have herbs i see lettuce i see tomatoes peppers flowers or custom uh, seed starter or grow bowl so that's awesome you don't have to start you know you don't have to just do of course what it comes with it just kind of gets you started uh seed starter i assume that when i'm starting this i'm i don't know what exactly seed starter is um I'm assuming that's just like how you get, you know, get, again, I don't have the green thumb here. So if you guys know, let me know. But I'm assuming that's just kind of like starting the seeds and then you're going to like, you know, move them to another uh, place, soil or something of the sort. Um, I am out of breath, y'all. So I think I'm going to choose herbs. I think I'm going to go back to the beginning. And, uh, to, okay, this is a quick tip. For tomato garden, your light will be on for 15 hours. I didn't mean to do that. How do I go back? Okay, so there's a back button. So let's do herbs. For herb garden, your light will be on for 15 hours. Currently, your light is scheduled to turn on at 8 a.m. Update on or off times next by touching okay. 8 a.m. is perfectly fine for me. Update your on or off time. Touch okay to set in advance. So it'll come on at 8 a.m. And it's telling me. I don't know how well you guys can see this. Maybe if I can scoot you guys up a little bit. Um, it's telling me, you know, to start at 8 a.m. And it'll go off at 11 p.m. That probably, because I'm an early bird, I really don't want this light on at 11 p.m. Because I'll be able to see it. So I might switch the on time to, like, 6 a.m. and then it can go off at 9 p.m. because I'm up pretty early but I would rather there be light when the light is you know the sun is coming up as opposed to a lot of light when I'm trying to go to sleep so I have it set for 6 a.m. and 9 p.m. going off so I'm just gonna push okay until it gets okay step one water pour water through port to fill the line extremely hard water may impact growth okay Let's pour some water in there. We're going to get the water, and I'll be right back. Okay, um, so remember when I was breaking my little deal earlier, this little thing just lifts right off right here in the front. And then it says, you know, you can see inside of it filled to here. Let me see if I can bring you guys in. Um, right here, it says filled to here inside of there. So I'm going to pour the water. I used the catcher on my juicer that catches like the pulp and you know all the stuff <laughs> so because I didn't know how much exactly this is going to take so um I definitely oh, I'm spilling it I definitely need more so let's just fill this up okay so let me finish filling this I could definitely see myself getting another one of these, potentially. Of course, I want to see how it grows. Um, spilling water everywhere, but it's fine because it's going to go in there. Anyway, um, 
But anyway, I can see myself getting another one of these. I'm going to get some more water. Hopefully, it doesn't make it hard to hear me. But just kind of depending on how... Let me scoot back. Just kind of depending on how um, things grow and, you know, how it goes. I might get another one to, you know, grow some... Just my um, plants. Because, like I said, I love having my greenery. I love flowers and plants and just nature in general. So... Um, I'm not going to be too hasty and buy two and then I don't like either one of them. So, we'll see how the first one goes. And I might buy another one to put in another part of my house or something. Okay, so I've reached the field line. Um, let me wipe this off with a... Ah, look at me, wipe. Um, I, I don't know what I did, so I'm going to go back. Okay, so I just, here, let me bring you guys back. Ah! I'm gonna drop the whole situation here. Anyhow, okay, so let's push, okay. Step two, grow pods. Plant your grow pods by inserting them in the grow decks. Set grow domes on pods and touch. Okay. Okay. So, oh, here, let me put this little deal back on the uh, water situation mess I've made. But uh, this kind of box kind of looks like it's been open already. Not even going to lie. But the pods look like this. And, oh, I didn't see mint. I already have mint in here. Yes, I did. I saw mint. Okay. So, I was saying I wanted mint and rosemary and things. I didn't really notice that I already had them. So, you can see on here, it says, you know, mint, what kind it is. Nope, you can't see anything. It says mint, and then it says sprouts in 6 to 10 days. So, it'll tell you, it was kind of blurry, but it's saying sprouts in 6 to 10, 10 days, and then it says medium. Not really sure what medium means exactly, but I want to put that first one in there. Plant your grow pods by inserting them into the grow deck. I'm just going to pour these uh, pods out. Hopefully, I don't mess anything up. Just pouring them out like this. <laughs> but I want to be able to see because not all these are herbs, and I did say that I was going to grow some herbs. So, this is the basil. I didn't want to do the basil. I mean, I honestly don't know how long it would take. And hopefully, it's in a book. For the other things like the basil or the parsley to grow but anyway we have time so I'm gonna do time I'm gonna do um, dill I don't know okay let's do dill and let's see We have Italian parsley and curly parsley. I guess I'll do the curly parsley. Oh, shoot. I don't break it all. I really would like to, like, put all of them in here. I'm not even going to lie. But I don't want to mess anything up. Because, here, let's go to garden tips. Okay. I just, I was curious. That was my random brain. But anyway, I really want to put them in there, but it had the option to do, like, herbs or plants or lettuce, and, you know. So, I don't know what it would do if I tried to grow them all because this first round is really experimental. I really just want to see how everything grows. I don't know if um, some will grow better than others. I'm going to put them in here. I'm, you're probably not supposed to do that. <laughs> putting all of them in there but I put them all in there but you know I, I don't know if uh, some of them won't grow as well like the parsley the basil Thai or the basil Gene uh, Genovese because those aren't technically herbs but anyhow I'm gonna go move on step three plant food add plant food through port use amounts as instructed I just realized my washing machine was on and it's probably super loud hold that thought 
I've been yelling over the washing machine this entire time. So hopefully this entire 20 minute video isn't crap. But anyhow, it said add plant food through port. Use amounts as instructed to plant food package. Touch OK to continue. So the plant food is right here. It came in a box of liquid plant food. Um, what did it say? Uh, use amounts as instructed on plant food package. All right, so use with your arrow garden directions for use. Shake bottle, add plant food directly into water bowl. All right, the cap on the bottle holds four milliliters of plant food. Use this cap as a measuring tool when feeding. So it says um, you have the different pod models on here. You have like the two and three pod models, the six and seven pod models, the nine pod model, which is what I have in the 12 pod models. So for the nine pot models, you want to do eight milliliters or two capfuls at startup. The second feeding, 12 milliliters or three capfuls every two weeks thereafter. So I guess I, the first, you know, startup, but then it says second feeding 12 milliliters. I'm not exactly sure when you're supposed to do that second feeding. Is it two weeks later? And then you do every two weeks because it says um, do not overfeed plants. More is not better. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll have some research to do. But, and there's also in this book, and I'm looking like helpful uh, garden tips. So, I'll read through this. I'm not going to sit here and read through it with you guys. But, let's, wait, is it put this directly in the water? Let me make sure, because mommy room have you all messed up. Um, add plant food directly into water bowl. All right. So, and that was two capfuls for nine pod. It has a little foil uh, deal on here. So, I'll take that off. And I'll move this lid again so I can just put the plant food directly in there. Okay, so that's one capful. Two capfuls, and it's like a caramel brown color. The food is. All right, so... I put the food directly in the water um, and then press OK. Congratulations, your arrow garden is now ready to grow. Touch OK to continue. Ooh, look at that, you guys. It's so pretty. It's so bright. It's so bright. I still don't know what the H this is, where this was supposed to go. The lights are like red, white, and blue. Sure, you're not supposed to look directly into the light. I'm not trying to. Clearly, these go here because I can see like little four pods, which I probably should have done before the light was on because that is massively bright. I, I don't know. I didn't even see in any of the direction what... Um, what am I supposed to do with this? Or oh, I missed it. And then here it has like these. Oh, guys, I am a goof troop. So clearly these go in here. I don't, I still don't know what the heck they're for. But I can see that these do fit in here. And I, let me try to look. Okay, that's clearly screws. So mommy brain magic moment that does not go up there do not try that at home i don't know what this goes to i'll find out later but it's together um i can see that obviously this can be adjusted i'm not going to mess with it right now oh what am i touching um yeah these can be adjusted to go higher as your plants grow but i'm going to leave it as is and then yeah so i don't know what i need these caps for yet I don't know what this is for yet. And that's, oh, there's something else in the box, like some reading material. Um, yeah, all right. There's just more stuff for me to read. So this is what I was probably looking for. Basil grows quickly. Be sure to keep this plant pruned often so you can keep your lights low until other herbs are well established. Okay, so I'm just gonna go through and read this stuff because it's fun reading for me. And yeah, this is, this is that, so. Um, oh, look at that. I just pressed OK. It tells you, you know, what you're planting. Let me see if you can see. This light is really bright. So I'm planting an herb garden. It's telling me where my water is right now. It's full and I'm sure it'll let me know when it's not. 
Um, tells me how many days we've been going. I have zero days over here. It has 14 days over here, so I'm assuming, you know, 14 days it'll tell me to do something else. So I will um, go on this journey with you guys and so you guys can see it. Luckily, it fits like right up under my cabinet. I don't know if I want to put it here or on the other side, but since I've already put the water in there, it might hang out here. I like it. It's nice. Um, that was fun. It was very easy, very user friendly, despite my hiccups. Oh, I unplugged the thing, y'all. Come on now. Your uh, Aero Garden lost power. Select the best option. And it says a power went out or start a new garden. Okay, well, great. So my power went out. Set the clock. I have to do it again. Uh, don't know what time it is. 5.23 p.m. All right. So don't unplug your garden. How about that? Or don't unplug your light. If your power goes out, obviously, you're going to have to reset it. 5.23 p.m. Okay, and the light's back on. So I will end it here because this, I've talked for like 26 minutes. This is day one, um, first day anyhow, planting day. So I'll come back and they're all different like directions. And that's going to drive me crazy. But anyway, I'll come back and update as this thing tells me to. And I'll probably take daily pictures. So, all right, here we go. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, share, and subscribe so you can go along with this journey with me. This is just something fun to keep my mind on uh, something, you know, to grow as I grow this baby. I'm waiting <laughs> for March and or the end of February, just kind of depending on what she wants to do. But this is something else that I can just kind of, you know, watch um, other than my calendar to count down the days. So please like this video um comment and uh, subscribe so you can go through this journey with me and then the journey that of my baby when she gets here all right baby number four all right see you guys